Don't mind the manic dog that's in the back just twisting and twirling around. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get my intro done so he can go on about his business. Y'all, today I filmed my everyday makeup tutorial. This is literally how I do my makeup almost every single time I have. We're gonna fight. Every time I have to go to work at Hooters, um, this is literally how I do my makeup because it literally takes no time. I use all drugstore products for the most part. And... Before I get into the video, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications if you don't already have them on. I'm trying to get in like two videos a week, hopefully for you guys. So you guys make sure to leave me recommendations down below. So yeah, let's just get right into the makeup. Okay y'all, so the first thing I always start off with is my eyebrows. Today I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics um, eyebrow palette. I always use this one for like the front of my eyebrow, and this color for the end of my eyebrow. And I'm gonna just be using a wet and wild angle brush just to put on my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use this color. So I always like line the bottom of my eyebrow first. And then I just kind of fill it in. Sometimes I do it really sloppy because I'm gonna just carve it away with concealer anyways. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a little spoolie thing and just brush it out. And that's what it looks like before I carve it out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eyebrow. It be getting on my nerves. So we're gonna brush that out and scrape that off of our face, cause no man. Yeah. Mm. Okay, y'all. This is what the eyebrows look like before I carve them out. I'm gonna be using the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Ivory to carve out my eyebrows. I always just put it on the back of my hands, and then I always use whenever I do my eyebrows. I always use the Wet and Wild uh, concealer brush, I believe it is. That's what that eyebrow looks like. Sometimes I do not really like my eyebrows. I really want to try a new way to do them. Like, I think I need to go get a pomade or something because I'm just over these eyebrows. Like, no. So, this is what they look like after I've already carved them out. I don't know if I'm a fan of them today. Y'all know. I just don't. I don't know. Okay, anyways, we're going to move on. We're going to be using the Makeup Revolution Vitamin C Serum. And then I'm also going to be using the Makeup Revolution Skin Elixir Makeup Serum. So first I'm going to put on this one. It smells so good. It smells like what the white monster tastes like. I'm going to just use two random clips that I had in my room to tie my hair back. Ew. Anyway. All right, so now that you put your vitamin C serum all over your face, then you're gonna take your makeup revolution and just put it all over your face like this. All right, and then I'm gonna be using the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. I use the color 127 sand beige, but it's too dark and I need to get a lighter color. I just haven't been to the store. Okay, and then to get around my nose rings, I'm going to take a brush and just you know, go around it. Five minutes to take, take over my life and control it. Hey guys, so I had to cut in the living room because my boyfriend was watching TV in there and I literally can't film in there until the TV's on. So sorry if the lighting changed. Um, hopefully you guys can still see me good. I'm gonna be using that same concealer under my eyes. So I'm gonna just blend that in. That's what it looks like. Just gonna pat it out and then I'm gonna be using the RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it 
my chin where that concealer was. I told y'all the foundation is a little too dark. Then I'm gonna just set my face with the powder. So my face is really doing too much right now. Um, I have a home to like dry patchy spots near my eyes. So if y'all see it like clinging or whatever, it's because my face hates me. So now I'm gonna be taking the Positions Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to bronze with the bronzer. Ew, uh, y'all, my makeup is doing me dirty today. <laughs> like when it does this and makes you wanna cry. It's so fucking annoying. After you bronze your face, you're gonna bronze or you're gonna contour your nose. Why do I keep changing the persons that I'm talking in? So I don't really have like a good way of doing my nose. I'm still trying to figure out what looks best on me. So I just kind of go straight down. I kind of like curve it into my eye right here. Y'all, this lighting is making me upset. Okay, hopefully this is better. Um, Glock is in the back because I was just filming in the other room and he can't be in there when I'm filming because he will literally be all up in the camera. But, all right, and then I'm gonna go across the tip, the tip of my nose. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's not blended. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna blend it. All right, so that's what it looks like when it's all blended out. And then now I'm gonna put blush on. I'm gonna be using the Beige Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. I'm gonna be using this color and this color. And I love blush. After you've slapped blush all over your face, you're gonna take another brush and you're just gonna blend it out. And then I'm going to put some blush on my nose because that always changes everything for me. I'm gonna take that same brush, I'm gonna just blend it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some more RCMA powder with my beauty sponge, and I'm gonna wet it, and I'm gonna just go across my cheekbones. I put way too much powder on my thing, and then I'm going to just... Contour me nose, put the powder. Um, I don't exactly know if I like doing the powder yet or not. I don't always do the powder. Yeah, so it looks like that. It looks pretty crazy. Like I just got freaking plastic surgery or some shit. Okay, so now that that's been sitting there for like not that long, we're gonna just brush it off. You see gives it like a little highlighting effect, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now you're, that your face looks like all powdery and stuff, you're gonna use, I don't know why I would say your. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face with Morphe setting spray. And then I just use my little fan to dry it. And then I also use the Pixie Glow Mist. I just spread it all over. Basically, it makes your face all glowy again. We love that for her. Okay, so now your face looks somewhat decent, I guess. You're gonna take the bronzer that you used already and you're gonna take a fluffy brush and you're gonna put that all in the crease. Sometimes I set my eyelid with the RCMA powder, sometimes I don't. 
Yeah, I feel like barely ever wear actual eyeshadow anymore. So this is just what I do. It's pretty cute. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So now that that looks like that, you're gonna take your brow palette again. We're going to line our lips with the light brown color, this one. Yeah, I always use just like a light brown eyeshadow and clear gloss and that's just how I do my makeup every single time. So the bottom looks like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the top. Y'all, my makeup is being so rude. Anyway, after you put on your brown uh, eyeshadow, I just use clear gloss. This is the Bratz Makeup Revolution Lip Plumping Gloss or whatever. They also have a hydrating one and um, like a regular lip plumping one that's not Bratz. There's really no difference. The Bratz one just says Bratz. Okay, then you mix this together, that's what it looks like. And then now we're gonna finish the eyes. So I'm gonna take the same brush that I just put on my lips with and I normally just use this color from the little brow palette. No, this color, I don't know why I did the other color. And I'm gonna just put a little line on my lash line. So that's what it looks like with the line without, can't really tell on camera, but it makes a difference in person. Oh, I am so bad at this, filming my makeup. So now that you did that, you're gonna take your crusty, dusty, musty eyelashes and tear off all the old glue. Because if y'all are anything like me, you never do that. Hello, Stink. Hello, my love. Mama. Y'all, Prince was taking a nap. How did you sleep? Oh, You slept so good? Yeah. Good. Y'all, I think I ruined my lashes the other day because I actually got glue on them, but I'm still gonna put them on. Uh, so I'm gonna be using the Duo Lash Glue for these lashes. I got these lashes from Marshalls for $3.99. I love them. Y'all ever not be able to tell which lash goes to which side of your eye? Or which I am in. Like, I'd be looking at it like, it could go on the left, but it also could go on the right, too. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Y'all, look at this man. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. So now my lashes are drying and. I'm gonna just put some more eyeshadow or some more bronzer in my crease. What, baby? So I'm gonna spray my face again with a Morphe setting spray. I'm gonna go in with highlighter. So for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Soap X highlighter palette. Mama. What, baby? You okay, you're just a big boy. So I just use these two colors and i just barely i'm like Mom. very lightly Mom. touching my face just for a little natural Mama. you know what i'm saying Mama. what's up <laughs> all right and then i'm gonna use this little brush it looks like this and i'm gonna use this color and i'm gonna put it on the very middle of my nose like <laughs> And I also highlights. Sometimes it's a little too bright for me. You know what I'm saying? So just a little bit too, too white for me. All right, and then if y'all really want to get fancy with it, you know what I'm saying? You can do this. Yeah, really. Really want to show out. You feel on your body too. And it looks really cute, really good, really fresh, really fun. So... I'm gonna take these clips out because we're just waiting for the lash glue to dry. Boy, what are you doing? Is this is giving very much natural, baddie, bohemian, yes ma'am. It's gonna look a little different when I put these lashes on now. Can you say one? No! Hey! 
Say one or none. <laughs> we love kids. How wavy my hair is underneath and the top is like, got to reach. So anyways, I'm gonna put on my lashes on camera with my half naked child running around in the back. I don't think this is the right one, my love. I just don't think. Like, I just really, I really, f <laughs> it could really go either way. Oh yeah. I figured it out. No. Okay. So y'all, I gotta focus, but I'm still show y'all because most of the time I just leave and come back. So it's been drying for a little bit. Still a little purple. I'm just gonna pull up it in the last line like that. And then you just keep going back and forth, the back and front, the back and front, the back and front, trying to make it stick because you didn't wait long enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna plop this one on this eye. Did you pee pee? Why didn't you use the potty? So I'm still waiting for my eyelashes just to fully dry before I can fully connect them to my eye. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use the Milani Base Blush in Rose or Rose Doro or something like that. I don't really know. Um, just gonna give it a little bit of a pop. So it works for me. I'm gonna say, oh, thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, he is the sweetest baby. Okay, so now that your eyelashes are finally connected, we're gonna put some mascara on. So I'm gonna be using the Essence Lash Princess False Effect Lash, False Lash Effect, False Lash Effect Mascara, and you're gonna blend them into your fake eyelashes. See? Okay, so this is what the makeup looks like. Super cute and natural, but at the same time, like it's the perfect amount of makeup to, you know, make yourself feel and look a little bit better. I've been doing my makeup like this ever since I had to start wearing makeup at Hooters every single day, literally. And I realized that, you know, I can't bust out a glittery eye full face every single day. Like it just wasn't gonna happen. So I created this. And I really like it. Um, I literally do my makeup like this even when I'm not at work. I think it's super cute. Um, I'm gonna go in the other room and show you guys what it looks like in natural light. Okay guys, so this is what the makeup looks like in natural lighting. I really like it. Um, like I said, this foundation is just a little bit too dark for me. I need to get a lighter one. But other than that, this has been my favorite way to do my makeup for like the past six months. Um, like I said, super easy, fun, and it really doesn't take that long. So you guys should try it. So if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials or whatever the case is, just go ahead and comment them down below. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so freaking much for three... Boy, what the freaking heck? Thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. You guys got me to 3,000 in such a short amount of time. So I have to bust out these videos for you guys. I'll be filming a Shein haul tomorrow, hopefully. That's when I'm supposed to get the package for this video. Like I said, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.